Hello everyone, welcome back to another video by me, Jazzy Snazzy Designs. Today I thought I would take you guys through the process of how I made my mystery pin bags. Now if you haven't seen them, it's a collection of three pins and they're all cats and it's called Cats and Hats um, because I thought that was just a really cute idea and I thought I would take you through the process of how I sort of designed them and then the prep for making the bags and yeah just letting you have a little insight into my process. So the way I came up with the idea was I'm a big cat lover I've already made quite a few stickers of cats and I've drawn a couple of my cat character Callie in prints. I wanted to I knew I wanted to make some new pins um, and I thought making cat ones was the perfect opportunity because I did originally have a cat clown one and that did really well so I knew I wanted it to either be um, a cat just on its own or maybe wearing something silly which is what I ended up doing in the end. I did film the process of me drawing it but um, my phone decided to completely just stop working um, so I lost a lot of the footage so it's very very short what I've got. So yeah, just this is just a short insight into how I draw and the line art, pro um, excuse me, the line art process and sort of the colouring process and things like that. So yeah, let's get on with that. <laughs> After the design was done I sent it to my manufacturer and it took about roughly a month to come back um, and yeah I was really happy with the end process they are a lot smaller than ones I've bought before but I don't mind that because they are like a sort of mystery bag sort of thing so it, it sort of works this is kind of sort of like mini pin in a mystery bag which I quite like so then obviously I had decided that it was going to be called cats and hats because they're all wearing silly little hats as you saw and obviously silly costumes so i then designed a little sticker to go in front of the bag so people knew exactly what it was and then sort of prepped the bags and prepped the pins so every time i get pins back from a manufacturer specifically this one they always have a protective film over the top and this is just to protect them in um transit and to make sure that they don't get any scratches on there or anything so i had to make sure that i took all of that off as well and made sure they were ready and prepped for them to go in the bags
and there we go here is the finished product i am super duper happy with how they turned out i think it's a really little cute mystery bag let's see which one we got inside of this one if i can open it so we got Ta-da! we got the wizard cat so i think it's it's super cute they are all out right now so you can go and get your own mystery bag um you can get them as a set of three if you really want to or you can just try your luck and see which one you get um and i am so happy with how it came out i, I think this is such a great experience um learning how to sort of make a, a product like this i think it was yeah just i'm very happy thank you very much for watching once again let me know what you thought of them in the comments below if you like them what you think you would have done if it was you and yeah i will see you in the next video bye bye